Hey, once you've found your dream home and applied for a mortgage, there are some key things to keep in mind before you close. It's exciting to start thinking about moving in and decorating your new place, but before you do that, and before you make any large purchases, move any of your money around, or make any major life changes, you have to be sure to consult your lender or someone who's qualified to explain how your financial decisions may impact your home loan. Here is a list of things that you should not, never ever, don't do it, not, not, don't do after applying for your mortgage. They're all important to know or simply just good reminders for that process. First, don't deposit cash in your bank account before speaking with your bank or your lender. Lenders need to source that money and cash isn't easily traceable. Before you deposit any amount of cash into your account, discuss the proper way to document that transaction with your loan officer. Even that $25 gift card or check uh, that you get from your dear aunt on your birthday, okay? Number two, don't make any large purchases like a new car or furniture for your home. New debt comes with new monthly obligations and those new obligations create new qualifications. And people with new debt have higher debt to income ratios and since higher ratios make riskier loans, qualified borrowers may end up with no longer being able to qualify for that mortgage. Number three, don't co-sign a loan for anyone, even your brother. When you co-sign, you're obligated. With that obligation comes higher debt to income ratios as well. And even if you promise, I promise, you won't be making those payments, your lender will have to count the payments against you. Four, don't change bank accounts. Don't do it. Remember, lenders need to source and track your assets. That task is much easier when there's consistency among your accounts. Now, before you transfer any money, speak to your loan officer. Number five, don't apply for new credit. I don't care if they're offering you 10% off if you open a store card, don't do it. It doesn't matter whether it's new credit or a new car. When you have your credit report run by organizations in multiple financial channels such as mortgages, credit cards, autos, etc., your FICO score will be impacted. Lower scores can create and determine what you have to pay, such as with higher interest rates or may even affect your eligibility altogether. Number six, don't close any credit accounts. Don't do it. Many buyers believe that having less available credit makes them less risky and more likely to be approved. This isn't true. A major component of your score is the length and depth of your credit history as opposed to just your payment history and your total usage of credit as a percentage of available credit. Closing accounts has a negative impact on both of these determinants of your score. So don't do it, okay? If you wanna cut it off, do it after you close, not before. The bottom line is this, any blimp of income or assets or credit should be reviewed and executed in a way that ensures your home loan can still be approved. If your job or employment status has changed recently, share that with your lender as well. The best plan is to fully disclose and discuss your intentions with your loan officer before you do anything financial in nature because it could be the determining factor of you getting your home of your dreams or not.